name's Amanda and welcome to what I'm calling a huge spotlight haul video. Over the last couple of weeks I have been buying and hoarding away a ton of stuff from Spotlight because they've had some really great sales on recently and so I had to take the opportunity and buy, buy, buy or spend, spend, spend whatever. It also doesn't help that I actually work at Spotlight so whenever I actually do go into work I usually come home with stuff that I really don't need but I have bought anyway. So I have this huge bag full of goodies that I cannot wait to share with you. So I'm going to begin with some of the fabrics I have bought like I need any more in my collection and the first pile I have is a ton of of fat quarters. I love collecting fat quarters and using fat quarters because I can use them for lots of little different little craft projects like making little purses or little pouches and things like that. I also like to use fat quarters in my block tutorials and also for like scrappy quilts and stuff like that. So I'm very happy to add this to my stash of fat quarters that I have somewhere in here and yeah I hope that you will be able to see them one day in some of my tutorials. The other fabrics that I have are all meterage fabrics. The first few are all remnant pieces so they're just the end of the bolt ones where they're sort of usually under a meter and we just sort of sell them off quite cheaply. The first one that I got was this one with little birdies on it. I actually really quite like this range that we've had. I also just picked up a solid purple fabric that I can add to the rest of my solid colour fabric collection. I said that right. I got a purple spot. I love spots. Can't go past a good spot fabric. This one I actually think I have as a fat quarter but I just got the end of the roll because I actually do really like the print. It's these really cool uh, coloured arrows on a chocolate brown background and I think they're just, yeah, they're lots of fun. Really cool. And the last fabric that I bought was one that I have been eyeing off for ages and it's this super cute lion print. It is so retro. I don't know, it just kind of reminds me of something from my childhood. Uh, but it's these gorgeous little lions. I love the colour scheme. I love the just the, the illustrative type print that it is. I think I bought about 2 metres, which I think is a good amount to use as like a lap quilt backing. I think the print is pretty big um, that it would suit more as a backing on a quilt than more the focal print in the front of the quilt. But, you know, it's, I think it's also pretty good for fussy cutting and stuff like that. So I will add that to the collection and use it when the time comes to using it. Um, the next few things in my bag are just a few random things that I've picked up here and there. Uh, just because I pretty much wanted them or needed them. As you do. The first one is this awesome Women's Weekly Celebrate with Cakes book. The Australian Women's Weekly is really well known for doing really great kids cakes and birthday cakes and stuff like that. So there's some really great classic childhood cakes in here that my mom actually made me and my brothers when we were younger. But there's also some really nice modern ones in there as well. This is actually really cheap for what it is. I think it's like $10 and then if you're a Spotlight member it's like $8. So for what it is, this is a really good price. So I had to pick it up and add it to the rest of my baking book collection. I also picked up a packet of No Melt Flower Head Pins. These are the pins that I love using for my piecing because it just allows the, the pieces that I'm sewing through the machine to just lie flat as I find that the ball headed pins just sort of seem to make the fabric sort of sit up a bit when it's sewing through the machine. But I mean, it's just the small little things that I just find that these are just easier to use. I know that possibly didn't really make sense, but yeah, these are the pins that I like to use. They're non-melt, so I can put the iron on them and not have them, you know, melt all over the iron and stuff like that. So I picked up some of those. Um, I also picked up this packet of Gudeman threads. This is a 150 year anniversary packet of threads. It's just real basic colours, black, light, cream, browns, reds. This was on sale, so I just grabbed it because I thought I'll use all of those colours when and if I need them. And I thought for the price, it was very very good uh, and I love using Goodman threads that's the thread that I choose to use and I always recommend this when I am recommending threads at work I'm pretty sure these are all polyester threads too or are they cotton a hundred they're hundred percent cotton these ones a couple of weeks ago there was a really great sale on buttons. I'm not sure whether you're aware of just how expensive buttons are these days. So when they go on sale I 
grab them as soon as I can because, you know, I need more buttons, as you do. We have a really great range of novelty buttons at Spotlight at the moment, so, you know, because they were on sale, I had to grab them. The first one that I grabbed were these adorable little foxes. There are ones where it's just the full fox and then also with just little fox faces and I just thought they were just so adorable. I also got one with all of these adorable little dog faces on it. I particularly picked this one up because there's a little white fluffy dog right in the background that reminds me of my gorgeous little dog Lucy who passed away a couple of years ago and so I just, I just had to get it because I'm all like, oh, it's Lucy in there and I have to just get it and cherish it forever. The next one that I picked up was this gorgeous little princess one. It has this gorgeous sparkly princess castle on it. Oh, I actually think it's a Cinderella themed because there's a shoe in it and a pumpkin carriage. I just thought it was really sweet and it reminded me of my niece Amelia. I thought it was something that she'd really like maybe sometime in the future. And then lastly I picked up this one which is called A Stitch in Time and it's got all of these awesome little sewing notions in it. It's got a sewing machine and some scissors and a little ribbon that's a tape measure and spools and lots of other cool fun things. So I thought they were really 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 sweet and yeah, I thought they were cool. One other random thing that I picked up was this quilt hanger from So Easy. I have never really used one of these before, a quilt hanger. Usually when I'm hanging up little mini quilts, I just use like decorative like coat hangers or uh, clothes hangers with the little clippy bits. So I thought I'd grab one of these and, and see how it works out. As far as I know, you take the little dowel piece off and then you... Uh, slide through your mini quilt. Uh, so I'm gonna have to find an excuse or time to make a new mini quilt so I can hang it up on this I think. All of the other things that I have in my bag are all very exciting quilting tools. I've sort of just spoilt myself with a lot of new quilting tools and things majority of them are all from the Sew Easy range. They had a huge sale on that range and all of the quilting tools recently. So I kind of went a little bit crazy. So the first thing I picked up was this gigantic set square ruler. This is a size 15 and a half by 15 and a half inch square ruler. Now I don't think I've ever really made a block this big before and I don't really know why I got a square ruler this big. But it was a good price at the time, so oh, I got it. I love a good set square ruler. I'm always using set square rulers when I'm piecing and squaring up and everything else like that. I have all, I think I pretty much have all of the set square rulers of the So Easy range. It's just another fun ruler I'm adding to my collection. Whether I'll actually use it or not is another question, but yeah, I really like these. Uh, rulers because they've got really great easy markings. I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about the markings on these rulers on this one. So I'm just going to pop this one down somewhere. So I also picked up another one of these rulers. You may recognize this one that I use in my quilt block tutorials. Talking about the markings on the Sew Easy rulers, these ones are in inches. So I find that they line up really well with the markings on my Ulfa rotary mat. It has a quarter inch uh, line around the whole edge. So when I'm trimming units or anything like that, I just use that line to measure up perfectly. And I also quite like the fact that this range is made in Australia. I love supporting local brands and I'm just really really happy that a local brand is such a good brand and is just perfect. I just find these rulers just perfect to use. The size of this ruler is a 14 by four and a half inch and I find that this is perfect for when I'm cutting out all of my pieces, when I'm trimming, when I'm doing anything that requires quite a long ruler like this. I just think they're fab rulers. They're just, just really, really great. One other product that I got from the So Easy range were quilting gloves. Can you believe I do not own a pair of quilting gloves? I've never used quilting gloves when I quilt and so many people have said, why don't you use quilting gloves? Oh my gosh, they change everything. So I thought, well, you know, let's give them a go. I'm assuming that they will be okay to use. Everyone says that they work and that it changes life. So we'll see what happens. So the last few things I have to share with you are all stuff from the Fiskars range. I love using Fiskars stuff. I think the quality of their 
products are really really great so I'm pretty sure that you're all aware that I use Fisker's rotary blades so when these are on sale I grabbed some more uh, rotary cutters because I haven't changed the blades on my cutters for so I got the 45mm ones as well as the 28mm ones. I usually use the 45mm when I'm cutting out all of my pieces. And then I use the 28mm for when I'm doing trimming or cutting uh, units in half or anything like that. Any sort of like intricate tricky work, I use a smaller blade. Any sort of bigger cutting or thicker cutting that needs to be done, I use the bigger 45mm. The next two things were actually quite big big expensive purchases although they were on sale they were still quite costly the first one is a rotary cutting mat I have an alpha version of this one it is slightly bigger but I just kind of found that the quality of that one wasn't as good as I thought it would be so I just grabbed a little Fiskars one because I do a lot of smaller half square triangle trimming and stuff like that I thought this might be a better size to use and I also just wanted to try out the Fiskars brand just to make sure that it's worth the money. This is actually one of the products I'm very excited to to use and to get, get out of the packet and have fun with. And the last thing that I have to share with you in my spotlight haul is a pair of new scissors. These ones are the Fiskars Classic Dressmaking Scissors, so fabrics only, no paper. Now these particular scissors are quite pricey, I must admit, but they are fantastic to use. I actually do use the exact same pair at the cutting counters at work. Two things that I love about these scissors are the long blades, uh, so they just cut through the fabric a lot easier, and also just the handle. They just fit really, really lovely in my hand. They're nice and light so they're not sort of you know hurting your wrist as you're going through and they're just such a lovely pair of scissors to use so i grabbed myself a pair for home because the ones that i use now are just you know they're just getting a little bit you know old so i grabbed a new pair and i'll keep my other pair as a backup i think that's the excuse i'm giving anyway so that is everything I have to share with you in my very indulgent spotlight haul. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the things that I am surrounded by every day at work and also just some of the products that I like to use in my own sewing room. Let me know down in the comments below a few of your new favourite things that you have purchased from your own favourite craft slash fabric store. I would absolutely love to know. And so with that, thank you all so much for watching and hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye.